I, you know what? I wanted to. I wanted to hit a couple of those speakers so hard. I would have hit them. No, no. I was going to hit them, so I was all set. And then I got a call from a highly respected governor. How's it going, Donald? I said, well, it's going good, but they're really saying bad things about me. I'm going to hit them so hard. I was going to hit one guy in particular, a very little guy. I was going to hit this guy so hard, his head would spin. He wouldn't know what the hell happened. And he came out of nowhere. He came out of nowhere. They make deals with me. Would you help me with this? Would you make this deal and solve the problem? I solved the problem. I do a great job. I was going to hit a number of those speakers so hard, their heads would spin. They'd never recover. And that's what I did with a lot of, that's why I still don't have certain people endorsing me. They still haven't recovered, okay? Also showing up early, protesters. Chris Rice showed up at 10.30 a.m. I uh, see Donald Trump getting in a Twitter war with world leaders over who's fat and ugly, and it ends in a nuclear holocaust. And Pamela Pilcher Spencer, a Davenport teacher and Black Lives Matter activist. She's against Trump because she fears he'll silence peaceful protests. I'm afraid that um, he insinuated during his speech that we're going to crack down on these, that people are not going to be able to use their constitutional rights to object um, to him, his policies. Trump's Davenport stop is a short one. After his speech at the Adler, he's off to Cedar Rapids and another rally. Greta Patrick, Local 4 News.